Has there ever been anybody in the history of history who's been converted by a street preacher? I mean, has there <laughs> ever been somebody who walked in <laughs> and saw some cat on a soapbox with a sign screaming in a microphone, you're all going to hell, and they drop to their knees and go, you know you're absolutely right. <laughs> so what? I will demonstrate the power of God to the Aboriginal people. Bang. Well, that was kind of cool. <laughs> I just created everything. I mean, heaven and earth. I am so cool. Matter of fact, I'm perfect, after all. I mean, I, I know everything. So I knew I was going to create everything, and I have, this, I have this amazing plan. And I just know that it's going to work out exactly as I planned it. Uh, wait a minute. How, how can I create time... They're going to ask about that. I mean, creating anything is an action, and an action requires time. So how can you create time if there's not? Oh, well, if I can't figure it out, they won't, and I'll just tell them I know everything. Why am I creating anything at all? I mean, I'm sure they're going to ask, but oh, it's actually part of my plan to create them so that they can almost but not quite understand it. And they'll be convinced that I understand it because, of course, I understand everything, even what it's like to not understand something. Hmm. Maybe I'm lonely. I mean, no, I can't be lonely. I'm perfect. Which I guess could mean that I know what it's like to be lonely. And does that make me not perfect? No, no, I'm, I'm perfect. Oh, well, my ways are not like their ways. And, uh, oh, keep that. That'll come in handy. Yeah, that's, that's a good one there. So I'm thinking this will take about... Six days or so? Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I could do it in a blink. Yeah. I'm going to make it look like billions of years, but I, I just kind of want to do it in six days and then take a rest. I mean, after all, I created this time thing. I might as well use part of it to relax. Uh, and, hello. I'm perfect, so I should be able to create things that are perfect, but I really, I really want to be the only perfect thing, so I'm just going to make them good. Nothing can go wrong with a plan like this. A perfect being with a perfect plan making imperfect things sounds like a winner to me. So we'll go ahead and create this universe thing. I really think it ought to be huge, like unbelievably huge, like exaggerated huge, even though it's actually tiny in comparison to my awesomeness. And I'll make billions of galaxies um, and ignore them. Uh, e <laughs> each of those galaxies can have billions of stars with tons of planets and moons and other things like that. Cool, that was easy. Okay, so my goal here is to create some other beings that I can interact with. So let's just pick one of these planets. Uh, yeah, that one there around that little star there. It's, uh, we'll just work here. Wow, this is still kind of... A big space for what I was, I was planning. Let's, let's start in a tinier area. And um, I, uh, animals. I need animals. So there we go. Oh, yes. E even though most of you will eventually die off, um, we need you to get started. So that, that's a good... Yeah, I'm just... I'm not quite feeling it. I mean, you guys are kind of cute and everything. But I really wanted to create animals that could love me and follow me and worship me. Because that sounds awesome. <laughs> I need them to interact with me, but, uh, but so far what I've created is just kind of crap. I mean, they're a bit too simple. Why did I, why did I do that? Uh, let's create something that, uh, we need something that's a little more like me. I mean, that just makes sense. Hey, Adam, Psst. wake up, wake up. There you go. Yeah, you're pretty cool. 
I'd like you to uh, start off by naming all these animals that I made. Um, I don't need to know their names, so you just do it yourself. And uh, while you're at it, why don't you look through them and see if you can pick yourself out a partner, a mate, a helpmeet amongst those animals. Um, you, so you've already named them. I really thought that would take longer to name. <laughs> Maybe I haven't made enough yet. What's it? You didn't find any in there that were suitable? You named all of them, you looked them over, and you didn't find anybody that... Surely, what about that sheep over there? I mean, that's... <laughs> There's a snail. It's not going to eat much of your food. How about, you know, kangaroo, koala, fuzzy, warm? No? Fine. I know how you feel. I knew how you felt before I asked you to do that little exercise. I mean, uh, I knew you'd feel that way because I know everything. After all, I made all these animals, and they weren't good enough for me, and you're made in my image, so it'd be stupid to think they'd be good enough for you, wouldn't it? And I'm not stupid. I was just suggesting it to teach you a lesson. Tell you what, why don't you take a nap and I'll go ahead and hook you up. Uh, one little rib ought to do it. After all, I'm making the inferior version of you. So uh, she, she can't be equal. That'd be as dumb as making you equal to me. All right. All right, you two. Uh, welcome to Eden. I, I do have some rules. Um, I'm confident that this is a perfect plan, so you guys will get this right off the bat. Don't eat from that tree over there or you will die. What do you mean you didn't? You, you ate from that tree already? <laughs> okay, so you're not actually going to die. Um, well, why did you do that? I mean, you didn't know it was wrong. Yes, I know that's the tree that's supposed to tell you what's right and wrong, but you should have known enough about right and wrong to know that it was wrong. Tree, I just freaking told you. <sighs> the snake. Fine, fine, I'll, I'll, I'll punish him too. But, all right, you're done walking, buddy. I just, so I'm going to leave little residual legs behind, and that's to show my power. There's no way it could possibly confuse people about evolution. <laughs> and if it does, it's their fault. I suppose I'll make it so you can't talk anymore, but we don't need to worry too much about that. And from now on, snakes, all of your descendants are going to be at odds with the, all of the descendants of that woman. Yes, you're going to be enemies. There's no way that any woman ever will like a snake. I know that's technically false. Uh, and eventually there will be women who like snakes. And yes, it's incredibly sexist to suggest that women are somehow afraid of snakes when men aren't. Look at you, Rob. Chase, chase. Uh, but, you know, nobody will look at that as a mistake. They'll just, you know, take it as hyperbole. And I don't care enough to fix it, so screw it. <laughs> After all, I made women inferior on purpose. But woman, I, I have bad news for you. You are in for some painful childbirth. Uh, originally, it was supposed to be really easy, but you had to go and eat that fruit, and that kind of made your head too big for the birth canal that I designed. Um, I knew that would happen, though, which is why I designed it as a clever punishment ahead of time. And, uh, and Adam, all of, all of you men, you get to plow the fields, because I love field plowing. And... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create some new plants, which will appear to be an essential part of an evolved ecosystem, but they're really just there so that you have weeds and thorns to put up with, because I'm mad at you. All right, everybody, out of the garden. All of your descendants will bear the punishment of ruining my plan, I mean, carrying out my plan, because I knew this was going to happen, but it's your fault. <laughs> Use some there. Oh, yeah. Cain. Killed your brother? What the fuck? <laughs> we just got started. Yeah, I know you're tilling the ground like I asked you to, and but he was sacrificing sheep to me. Of course I liked his better. The blood and the smoke. I mean, that's way better than burning wheat. And I can't wait till you learn about barbecue. <laughs> and now I don't get my favorite offerings. So I'm going to go ahead and mark you and send you out so that people know you're a murderer and that they're not to kill you. And later on, I'm going to expect murderers to be killed. So count yourself lucky, young man. You get to be the one exception. What's that? What other people? Oh, um, so maybe I created some other people and just didn't tell you. Or, you know, you've got sisters and brothers. They've spread out, you know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Stick with the narrative. <laughs> All right, where's, where's that checklist at? Okay, yeah, create everything, check. Um, 
Create inferior beings that will make a mistake I can punish them for? Check. Give them, uh, start them out on a difficult life in this world? Check. And allow them to reproduce? Well, that's a good day's work. Time for another nap. Well, I'm liking this time thing. Wow, look at that. There's a lot of them down there now. Holy crap. And some of them are kind of downright wicked. Huh. That Noah fellow looks pretty cool, though. I mean, he likes the wine a bit too much, but he's been around for about 500 years. I think, have some kids, Noah. You're only 500. We'll get started now. Speaking of that, you guys are kind of living too long. I think maybe it's probably a good idea if I set your lifespan to 120 years and then not revise that number, even though you probably won't make it. Uh, Because you get a bit annoying when you've crossed 900. So it's too much. Hey, you, you Nephilim, stop running around sleeping with the humans. Why, why did I create Nephilim in the first place? That's just nuts. <sighs> okay. Uh, wow, you guys are really doing a lot of evil shit down there. Um, I think I regret making you, but, I mean, that would imply that I could actually regret something. And since this is, all, this is started my plan, yeah, I, I wanted to learn something new. Well, I can't learn anything new. Um, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're the ones that are going to learn the lessons. That's, that's right. That's why I did this. This is all for you. Um, and now I need to fix what you've messed up. So I could talk to people and show them my power, educate them about right and wrong, because evidently eating the fruit only gave them half of the equation since they're all just doing wrong. But screw it. Let's just reboot. All right, everybody. Uh, get ready to die. Uh, <laughs> It's been fun for this first go-round. Well, I, I, maybe not everybody. Starting over from scratch, is, I mean, that was too much work to kind of snap my fingers. But uh, that Noah guy, yeah, yeah, Noah. So rather than start completely over, we're going to use you as kind of like the patriarch of, uh, of my future wonderful people. I'll just keep your one family and rebuild from there because that's far better than killing off everybody. I mean, I know what's going to happen, and I know that I'm still using tainted humans, but surely this will work. I mean, you guys will love me this time. You'll obey me because I saved you. There's no way you could forget very quickly. After all, I started off with one imperfect couple, and it went sour, but that couldn't possibly happen again. So let's drown everything else. Um, I know that little baby over there hasn't actually done anything wrong yet, but I have future vision, and it will, so I'm punishing for it in advance. So, Noah, get, get a boat built, stick a pair of everything on it. Yeah, that's good. Uh, and I will show you my awesomely brilliant power and strategy. This will fix everything. What's that? You don't think all the animals are fit. Um, okay, screw the dinosaurs. Um, <laughs> this reboot probably won't affect anybody's view of history. I'll make it work. It's, it's magic. I'm magic. All right, cool. So we're down to one boat, one family, and a bunch of animals... Here comes a ray. What <laughs> kind? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> oh, oh, that's pretty good. All right, all right, waters uh, recede. Now, you animals, uh, listen up here. We got a we got short time here for you to spread out. So, uh, kangaroos, wallabies, the most deadly things. You guys head off to Australia. <laughs> Don't you dare whine about the long trip. I spared you from my wrath, so you do as you're told. Eventually, there will be some people there for you to try to kill. (laughs) All right, Noah, we've reset everything. You are now the prime example. You will usher in a new age of righteousness and praise and sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Sheep. And plenty of juicy worshiping, too. Welcome to the glorious new world that cannot fail. I need you to start reproducing because uh, more people does not equate to more chances for things to fail. What's that? So, Noah, why did you start off this new exercise by building a vineyard and then getting your ass drunk on wine? Why did I pick a drunken sot to be the progenitor of the new world? So while you were drunk, one of your sons saw you naked and you cursed his descendants to be slaves of his brother's descendants. That's, that's, okay. Who gave you the power to curse people? That's, that was my idea. I started this cursing stuff. I did this long before you were around. You really are kind of like me, Noah. I, I'm, I'm glad I picked you, but stop with the drinking. My God. All right, I, I need a break. It's, let's take another quick nap here and... Wait, what are you guys doing down there? Oh, you're building a tower. That's awesome. Is it to honor me? Uh, 
No. How can you possibly have enough people to even attempt this? It's only been a few hundred years since I flooded and killed all of you. And now you've got enough people to build a whole massive city and you're starting work on this tower? I guess my instructions to be fruitful and multiply are kind of worked out. And the sex thing's pretty good. So why are you building the tower? You want to you build a tower to promote unity and stay together and keep from spreading out? Yeah, that's no good. Um, if they keep doing that, there's nothing they won't be able to accomplish. So um, now you all speak different languages, and I'm going to scatter you around the world because that's exactly what you wanted to not happen. Down with unity. How dare you want to be united? I'm not quite sure how that actually works into my plan, but it's... Um, oh, it actually must work in my plan. I'm, I'm, maybe I'm a little hung up on the fact they're becoming a little bit more like me, but... Um, all right, all right. So this plan of trying to get everyone to love me and worship me um, has failed again, just like I planned for it to fail. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a, a, especially after I took a unified people and spread them up. So I think what I want to do here is we're just going to pick one group of people. Uh, they'll be my special people. I know this sounds a lot like the time I picked Noah and his family as my special group of people, but it's completely different because last time I killed everyone else, and this time I'm not going to kill everyone else because then they'll recognize how special I am and, and how, how important they are that I didn't kill them. Uh, so, Abram, I, I pick you, you and your nephew, that lot fellow. He seems pretty cool. So I want you to go out and head out together. We're all going to get started on this nation-building process right now. What's that? The, oh, the Pharaoh's got the hots for Abram's wife. We can't have that. Let's just give him a little disease. And I tell you what, we'll give the disease to his whole household too. That seems kind of fair. There's no sense in just punishing the guilty if I have the opportunity to drum up a Kaiser Soze-like reputation by going after the family and people who owe them money. So, uh, yeah, yes, I know, Abram, you lied and said that your wife was actually your sister, but uh, that guy should have known that you were lying to him, uh, and even if he didn't, screw him. You're my favorite people, so we're going to punish him. Uh, and besides, you, you, you lied, but I haven't yet explained to you that lying is wrong. Um, I know you, you know, the descendants of the people who ate the fruit, but I need to later on, I'm going to actually tell you that lying is wrong. And it's also wrong to whore out your spouse to the king. I mean, it's probably not a good idea. So, oh, you and Lot have kind of separated a bit. You were arguing over land. So we're trying to do nation building here. And if you, fine, fine. Why don't you guys maybe start at either end and work towards the middle if you just can't get along. And Lot, you're going to, oh, you're going to settle around Sodom. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a mistake. But, um, hey, you make your own choices, except for when I make them for you. But uh, So I tell you what, Abram, let's make a deal. Uh, you're my favorite anyway. You've always been my favorite. And you're going to get pretty much everything. I mean, it's kind of like a last will and testament, only I'm not going to die. Uh, or at least your descendants will, or at least I'll promise them that they will. Because um, you're my favorite. I just need you to do something for me. So would you go out and get like um, a three-year-old cow, a three-year-old goat, and a three-year-old ram, and then um, also a pigeon and a dove, even though they're the same thing? Uh, you got, oh, you got him. Cool. You're doing great. So this is going to seem really weird. I need you to cut the animals in half. No, not the pigeon or the dove. Just ignore them. I mentioned them, but we're not actually going to talk about Just So the cow, the goat, and the ram, just cut them in half and arrange them. Yeah, roughly like that. Now, this is going to seem weird, especially since I'm talking to you right now and giving you instructions on how to slaughter these animals properly. But I need you to do this in order to allow me to speak to you in a dream uh, where I can give you more information than I can give you right now. The all-powerful creator of the universe must have blood to communicate more effectively. This Abram guy is like doing everything I say. This is awesome. I, I think I have finally picked the right horse to bet on. All right, so uh, here's the deal. I know that you've got a son through your slave, um, and that's fine, but I'm going to give you a real son, because stepsons aren't real, and uh, through your wife, and he's going to be the legitimate heir, and then the, your slave's son's going to eventually, his offspring are going to form another religion called Islam, but it's probably not going to be that popular. Uh, it, so... <laughs> I'm going to rename you Abraham, and we'll rename your wife too, and I'm going to make a covenant with you, and the first thing I need you to do is um, 
Cut off your foreskin. <laughs> Holy crap, he's actually going to do it. <laughs> yes, I cut off. Yes, cut. Yes, mm, foreskin. And then you need to instruct every one of your descendants and, and all of your slaves uh, that you buy uh, forever, for the rest of time, to, to cut off their foreskins too, because I really like me some foreskins. <laughs> Which is why I'm going to love David later, even though he's probably gay. I don't know why I love foreskins so much. That's kind of weird. I'm, I'm pretty sure I invented them just so I could have them cut off. I mean, that's... <laughs> foreskins, foreskins, blood and guts and smoke. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, so we're going to rename your wife, and eventually I'm going to give you a son. I know that Sarah's old, but she's centuries younger than your ancestors were. Um, what, what? Who? What? There was something going on in Sodom? Really? All right. I, I should have known this already. Um, but I'm going to go down there and investigate for myself because I am a good skeptic. <laughs> Holy crap, look at Sodom and Gomorrah. How did things get so messed up so quickly? How did an entire city become corrupt? There's like nobody good down there. I, it's smiting time. I've been waiting for a good... It's been so long. What's that? Abraham here... Oh, lots over there. And you'd like me to save Sodom. Um, no way, dude. <laughs> I see. So 50, if I can find 50 righteous people, you want me to save? All right, I'll do 50, 40. 40, 30, can I get a 20? Can I get a 20? 10, 10 people. If I can find 10 people, all right, fine. If there are 10 good people there, I won't destroy Sodom. You know, I just can't abide wickedness, and I will destroy the whole world and save eight. But for your sake, uh, I'll spare the city if there's 10. <laughs> Plus, I already know there's not. So it's mighting time. So, so Abraham, guess, I get this. I, I sent some angels down there, and they met up with Lot. And he invited him into his home, and he, you won't believe this. So the people from the town started banging on the door, wanting the angels to come out so they could have sex with them. I, I told you this place was ama bad. Not amazing, bad. <laughs> Amazingly bad. Uh, but Lot, um, so Lot actually sit, offered up his daughters in, to the crowd to... I don't think he was actually going to do it. I mean, maybe, who knows. But he protected my boys. I mean, they have magical powers. Surely we can offer up a couple of women to save my, my precious angels. Now, now don't be mad, um, but I, I did go ahead and destroy that town. But don't worry. Um, I got Lot and his family out. Uh, they are all safe. Um, they were good to my angels. I don't think he really would have done that. The daughter thing, I know it's weird, but... Oh, and when I said they're all safe... Um, so Lot's wife kind of disobeyed me and looked back at the awesome destruction that I was pouring out on Sodom, which freaking rocked. And uh, so I turned her into, into a pillar of salt. I know, right? A pillar of salt. Creative! That's so strange and clever. I know, yes, yes, she was probably doing what almost anybody else would have done, but I told her not to. Uh, of course I had a good reason for her to not see this. But because I said so, that's a good enough reason for anything. Use that when you're raising up your kids. Don't try to teach them. So this is kind of funny, too, because after they got out, uh, Lot and his daughters camped out in a cave after I destroyed their home. And his daughters, you know, they had just been offered up to the crowd as sexual playthings, and they just lost their fiancés and their mother, and they were grieving. Um, they weren't so much grieving for all of that. They were kind of grieving for the fact that there weren't any men around for them. So they, uh, they kind of got a lot drunk and then had sex with him. I know. I didn't think it was possible for somebody to get so drunk that they'd bang both their daughters and still be able to perform. But he did. I mean, they were only trying to carry on the family line. It's all good. I'm sure I'll punish their incestuous offspring later. After all, I'm eventually going to punish every... Oh, not, not your descendants. They'll, they'll be okay, but eventually... Uh, oh, by the way, um, side note, I, I need you to go kill your son. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, my me, he's actually going to do it. This is awesome. Psych! Wait. I was just testing you. 
for your sake, not mine, um, I knew you'd do it because you're a good man, and a good man should always be willing to kill their sons whenever I ask them to. I mean, so I've got my chosen people. Everything's going according to the plan. Where's that checklist at? Um, let's see. Kill everyone except for one family. Check. Um, allow them to multiply. Punish them. Check. Sow confusion and divisiveness. Check. Hide myself from all but a handful so that they might worship other gods. Check. Uh, pick out one family. Make them promises that I won't keep, and that'll screw Check. So... All right, so, you know, get back to work. Holy, you guys are slaves? All right, I know that I'm okay with slavery, but not when you enslave my people. So, I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to rescue them from slavery, lead them to freedom, and then they will love me. I, don't, I know why, but I don't know. I, don't, I do, I don't know why. I, I, this is too confusing. Why won't you guys love me and listen to me? This time, I'm going to save you. Moses, get over here. I need you to speak for me. Yes, I'm all powerful and stuff, but I need you to do the talking. Maybe I'm shy or something. <laughs> First, go tell the people that you're speaking for me and that I'm going to rescue. So they don't, they don't believe you. No, I'm not going to tell them myself. The talking to be about being a mouth. Okay, fine. You can let your brother talking, but go tell Pharaoh that I said, let my people go. Aaron, try and hit it like that. Let my people go. <laughs> See, he said no. Good, good. Uh, I tell you what I need you to do, challenge his priests to a magic contest. Uh, this is going to be awesome. Uh, I'm the most powerful being in the universe. So I'm going to turn your staff into a stake. So just kind of stretch it out like this. Okay, you got it? You can actually let go with this hand, and it'll look like a staff, and then, boom, snake. <laughs> Phenomenal cosmic powers, itty-bitty magic trick. <laughs> oh, wait, they can do that too? What, is there some other? Who's given these guys powers to turn staffs into snakes? Which one of you, you guys have gotten a lot quiet lately. Thanks for the help. Uh, all right, well, my snake will eat theirs. We'll be done. That's all good. So you can't top that. So now he'll let him go. No? Hmm. What am I going to do now? Smiting's kind of boring. Plagues. Plagues will be awesome. Plagues are like a special form of smiting where I'll use mostly natural disasters so people can rationalize it away later. Uh, rather than demonstrating that I am, in fact, the cosmic god of the universe and can do anything. Trust me, this is going to be awesome. Uh, well, let's see, water to blood, frogs, lice, flies. I really like insects, I guess. Okay, kill the livestock. Uh, boils, I yeah, guess that's fun. Hail, uh, locusts, darkness, that's nine. Um, Oh, yeah, yeah, that Pharaoh guy wanted to kill off all the Israelite babies. I'm going to kill all firstborn, Israelite and Egyptian, because I'm better than you, buddy. <laughs> all right, so some of you Israelites, if you, if you actually want to save it, um, we'll, we'll kind of give you just blood. Just smear blood over your door, and your kids will live. But the rest of them are going to die, because babies are fucking nuts. I love blood and foreskin and I don't know, whatever. <laughs> now you're going to let him go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Everybody pack it up. It's rescuing time. You want some miracles? You got it. I'm going to part the sea, feed you manna from heaven, pillar of cloud by day, pillar of fire by night. I'm going to lead you to the promised land, and then you will love me for sure, and you will do exactly what I want you to do, won't you? This is... Hey, Moses, come up here on, on the mountain real quick. I've got some rules that these people need to know, and we need to do this in secret, because if I told everyone, then they wouldn't have to exercise any faith. He's been gone 40 days, and you've already decided to worship another god. Do you people not know that I just miracled your asses out of slavery, showed you countless wonders? A cow? I... What the hell do I have to do to you people, for you people? 
talk to you directly instead of talking to your leaders in private? Do I look stupid? All right, let's, let's regroup. This, is, this just isn't working. I mean, this, I mean, this is going exactly to plan. Yeah. <laughs> I am so... All right, I tell you what. Start killing. Canaanites, Midianites, Gibeonites, Makeda, Labnites, Lachish, Eglonites, Hebronites, Moabites, Philistines, Malachites, I don't know, throw somebody else in there. Kill them all. I'll sort them out. Now, surely, I've given you permission to slaughter people and take their lands and enslave them and basically be the dicks of the ancient world. You love me now, right? And you're willing to, oh, why isn't this working? Why won't you guys love me? I need to think about this. I have to take another rest or something. Okay, I got it. I got it at this time. This is really going to work. I'm going to sacrifice myself to myself to serve as a loophole for the rules that I'm in charge of. And that will allow people to be saved from my wrath. Because that's love. <laughs> save people from some great harm that you intend to do to them. That's true love right there. <laughs> hey, Mary. Um, this is going to sound really weird, but I need you to have my baby, me baby, me as, me as my baby. <laughs> baby? No, don't worry, I'm not actually going to have sex with you, you're a human. But uh, reproduction without sex, not actually asexual reproduction, not quite part of the genesis because that would result in female, and I definitely don't want to be one of those. Uh, so, yeah, so, don't worry, I got the details. We'll hook everything up. Okay? Ah. A little boy. <laughs> All right, so, so let's show off and let him know that I know the Torah. Uh, I don't want to make it obvious that I'm God right off the bat. So let's just think I'm a really bright kid. Just an obnoxious show up bright kid. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I make things so damn awkward? That could feel kind of nice. Uh, I'm almost sorry that I'm going to have to have this body tortured. I know I'm an important mission here, but this, uh, this master thing is pretty nice, so I'll take a couple of decades off and come back when I'm 30. <laughs> Did anybody notice I lost a mic? Okay. Be healed. All right, I'm here. Time for some more magic tricks. I hit my 30s, and I'm going to speak in parables so that my message is not clear. I'll go ahead and let some of you write down the true meaning of those parables so that my message is clear. And no, that's not a contradiction. So, um, okay, kill me. I can take it. Yeah, that's it. Um, I'm dead? Cool. Time for a day and a half nap that I'm sure someone will exaggerate to three. Uh, I'm the one doing the sacrificing here. I'm giving up part of my weekend. Uh, well, this body's giving up part of a weekend. I'm not really giving up shit. But uh, this will work, though. Yes, awesome. Look at Christianity grow. They, they love me. They finally really, really, really love me. So not everybody's buying this. There's other religions out there. They're growing? I made the ultimate sacrifice? No, I'm not talking about the weekend that I was dead. I'm talking about lowering myself to be one of them in the first place. Why doesn't this ever work? Oh, well, in the, in the end, I'm going to destroy everything and save whoever I want and damn whoever I choose. I mean... Why didn't I just start this by creating the people that I like already right up here with me to begin with? And say, save us all somehow. Isn't, isn't that what I did with the angels? And, ooh, that kind of failed too, that whole Satan thing. 
but why won't, why won't you love me? Okay, okay, so here's the deal. You guys write this stuff down. We need to make sure it's recorded in languages that will change and die out because I can't be bothered to communicate clearly and directly and frequently. Uh, I've transported masturbation up here because it was fun. Uh, I will be busy. So write it down. You can paraphrase if you want to embellish a little bit, but the, get the gist. I'm awesome. I have an awesome plan. Everything always goes according to my awesome plan. When it appears that things weren't working well planned or weren't well planned to begin with or aren't working according to plan, that's your mistake and the problems with the plan are your fucking fault. If you'd have just listened to me, if you hadn't eaten that fruit, you'd understand that this is your fault and that there's no contradiction between the fact that everything is exactly as I planned it and that you're responsible for what went wrong because I planned for you to be responsible for what went wrong so that I could save you from my wrath. Why aren't you getting this? Don't you mock me, Dilla honey. Don't you mock me again. I will smite your ass. I'm warning you. Okay, he mocked me again. You better not do it again, I'm telling you. He did it again. Ugh, I'm really gonna smite you now. Holy crap, he's saying that none of this makes any sense. Did you hear him? He's saying that my actions don't look anything like a perfect plan. He's saying that my intelligent design doesn't look very intelligent. He's trying to claim that my endorsement of slavery wasn't righteous. It is, it is righteous, it's just don't, not, not the Jews. He better not say one more thing or I swear to me, I will smite his ass. Now he's asking people if they think my plan was good. What do, why are you asking them? Who the hell are they to judge me? I'm absolute perfection. All I wanted was love. You guys went and messed it up. Yes, I made you, and I didn't make you perfect, but it's not my fault you're flawed. <laughs> he just said I, he doesn't think I could give him so much as a hangnail. Well, it's coming. Look at that. He's, he's convincing people that they don't have any good reason to think I exist. What's going on? I'm going to have to smite him before this gets any worse. He's been saying this for more than a decade? What was I doing? Oh, master. Yes. <laughs> I'd better smite him before he gets too popular. There's, there's others saying this stuff. They've been saying it the entire time. This Dilla Honey guy is just one of countless people echoing objections that countless others have raised. And Hume and Voltaire. I knew that. I knew that, yeah. Uh, that was part of my plan. Where's that, where's that checklist at? Um, so play a never-ending game of hide-and-seek, check. Make sure that there's no good reason to believe that I exist, check. Uh, allow the people who doubt to have better arguments than those who don't doubt, check. Uh, send millions to hell for not believing, check. Step 9384, collect the souls of all the people who loved me because of my plan. You see, it's all part of my plan. I planned on you becoming an atheist, Delani. You're just too stupid to see it. I made you too stupid to see how smart I am. That was my stroke of genius. I made you all too simple-minded to understand my brilliance. It will allow me... What did you say? What the fuck did you just say? You said you're more moral than me? And everybody else you've ever met is more moral than me. I've slaughtered billions, Dilla honey. There's no way you're more moral than me. I'm going to smite, I'm warning, I'm going to smite your ass so hard. There's just, there's some smiting coming. You just hang on. One of these days, one of these days, I'm going to smite you. Wait, why don't I just, there's a reason I don't smite you right now. I know what the reason is. Maybe, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna smite you. I'm not gonna smite you, man. I'm gonna, maybe I'll rapture everybody else and leave you behind, and then I will do a powerful work in your life so that you will be my new representative. That's it. So no smiting for you, you got lucky on that. But I am gonna tell my followers to harass you and threaten some smiting on my behalf. Yeah, tell him you'll punch him in his fat face for Jesus, that's good. <laughs> All right, I, look, I, I really wasn't mad at you, man. I, I love you. I planned this all out from the beginning. That's it, yeah. I planned all this out from the beginning, and you're now doing exactly what I want. I want you to give people information that contradicts my information. Uh, when this is all over, you'll see. 
you will love me, you will respect, you will respect me, you will all love and respect me. I'm not childish. I'm not a bully, I'm kind. Killing people is necessary. I am too smart, I make great plans. You'll see, just give it some more time. It does too make sense. You're all gonna love me someday. Don't make me smite you. You've gotta help me save you from my wrath. Help me to help you to help me help you love me. Please? How about that?